Hey there YouTube, welcome back to the Speed Test channel. I hope everyone's doing well. We are here in Altoona. We're back from our west trip to Iowa. Unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to do any more videos, but I just noticed something brand new. Altoona has its first Verizon ultra wideband tower go live. I've been seeing the antennas up for some time, but no uh, ultra wideband. And so I thought I would show you these towers and we do some testing. So we are right um, next to uh, Kettle Street here, right in kind of the north section of Altoona. Interestingly enough, this site was the one and only T-Mobile site for many, many, many years in Altoona. It goes all the way back to Voice Stream. For the longest time, it was only Edge. Um, anyway, so today T-Mobile's there, N41, uh, AT&T's there, nothing special. And then we've got this big 300-foot tower. We have Dish, which is live. I don't have the ability to test. We've got the old Nextel antennas. We've got Verizon and some high capacity antennas. And there you can see their CBRS stuff. And uh, mid band, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's the old Sprint stuff shut down, no longer used. And there's Crow's Nest Broadband, the WIST stuff and the top is empty so just looking at Verizon here um, those antennas are brand new just went up just turned up obviously we've been seeing just regular 5G fake 5G as I called it on one of my other videos um, but this is the first I've seen the 5G UW indicator on my iPhone. I am here in the serving cell info. Again, I'm, I'm not as comfortable on iOS. I don't really know how to quote read that. I mean, it looks like it's saying 20 megahertz of band 66. T-Mobile I have here as well. It's currently just showing band 2, but the uh, band 41 is clearly here. So uh, let's Verizon all metrics let's just um, do some speed testing here and see what happens so clearly you can see the 5G UW indicator And so we saw it shoot up to like over 200 briefly. Maybe they're still tuning it. I literally didn't see this yesterday. I will say that the entire city of Altoona is just awful for Verizon speeds. You can be here at 2 o'clock in the morning and do, you know, four or 500 meg speed tests consistently on LTE or their fake 5G as I call it and by 8 o'clock in the morning you're lucky if you can do a 30 meg speed test so clearly they are doing something where they've upgraded backhaul for this site that wasn't there before 390 meg um, 134 up is just unheard of for Verizon at well I guess it is still 730 in the morning so it is still early um, so they're clearly crushing uh, T-Mobile on latency and upload, which is impressive. That almost never, ever happens for Verizon. So I'm excited about the potential for Verizon, uh, C-band, mid-band, whatever you want to call it here in Altoona. They desperately need it because they have just been losing out to um, T-Mobile big time. I will do. I will add AT&T here in just a bit. I have to use another phone because AT&T is currently in the phone that I'm shooting with here. 
So now they've got similar latency, three or both 43 milliseconds. Verizon's shown way better loaded ping times. T-Mobile 560 down, Verizon 300 down, 53 up on T-Mobile, 87 up on Verizon. Interesting that it does not the 5G UW indicator comes and goes uh, as you sit here and watch it. I see there it comes back when I'm doing a speed test so I don't know if I can um, see it. it does doesn't seem like that data is correct but I just don't know you know the most I'm seeing is 20 megahertz of spectrum I just I'm not familiar enough cell by band and I don't think that's accurate. I really don't. LTE by band. Obviously, they don't have 50 megahertz of band 13 here. Uh, and oh, 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 oh. Okay, so clearly I don't know what I'm doing. There you go. 100 megahertz of band 77 is what it's showing. 256 qualm. Well, look at that. 100 megahertz of N77 5G NR. So 100 megahertz, that's more, interestingly enough, that is more than uh, T-Mobile only has 60 megahertz of, of N41 here. They've got 20 megahertz of N25 here. Um, 50 megahertz of N71 is what T-Mobile has here. Um, so very good to see Verizon make some progress they've got two other sites that have here in Altoona that have both had the um, band 77 panels up for longer than this site and neither of those sites are turned up yet I drive by them every day and there's there's nothing there so fascinating to see them finally make that move obviously fix something with their backhaul problem that they have here so very impressive results not that uh, T-Mobile shabby by any means. So, exciting to see. First Verizon N77 in the Altoona, Pennsylvania market. And it is right here at the Kettle Street Tower. AT&T down low. T-Mobile. And then we've got Verizon right there. We've got that panel aimed right at us. And it is performing quite well. All right, I'll be back in just a second, and we'll add the uh, T-Mobile or the AT&T speed test to this video as well. Okay, let's wrap this up with a AT&T speed test as well. AT&T is also on the same tower. Uh, they have band 14 here. They've got a small cell just down the street. Doesn't seem to be turned up yet. AT&T does not have any uh, C-band or mid-band DOD. They don't have anything uh, mid-band, essentially, turned up in the Altoona market at this time. Generally, they've really been on behind in central Pennsylvania here, but this isn't a bad test. 186 down, their latency isn't great. Again, we have the Verizon C-band here in the iPhone 14 Pro. Uh, we'll just compare the two. I will say the Verizon stuff seems to be sort of all over the place. Like You can clearly see the 5G UW icon, but it kind of is up and down. Upload fairly consistently screaming though we'll just go there on one panel and see what we have here with AT&T so 10 megahertz band 30 and N5 10 megahertz of N5 10 megahertz of 66 5 megahertz of 66 if I were to check signal check probably 5 carrier aggregation 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 10 the band 30 here do one more test 
just comparing AT&T to the first Verizon N77 100 megahertz that we have here in the Altoona market. AT&T on the left in the S23 Ultra, Verizon on the right in the iPhone 14 Pro. Again, this is today is the first day that I've seen it live here in Altoona and I've been watching every day. So early results look impressive. I'm sure they're still fine tuning it. The upload's screaming, the latency's not bad, although the speed test server that I am testing to is right here in Altoona. It's very close. Let me just test to a server that I know is decent but would be off net for Verizon and see what that latency looks like. So 42 milliseconds. Loaded ping certainly is worse. Speeds are still decent. Upload very decent. Actually better than their own speed test servers. It's a very impressive upload from Verizon there, which is fantastic. So there you have it. AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, north end of Altoona, first Verizon C-band in Altoona. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this as I travel across central Pennsylvania and watch the modernization of the cellular infrastructure. Happy speed testing.